So if you want to create an ebook in Canva and you want to use a template, you may have noticed that there are thousands of templates for you to choose from, which can be a bit overwhelming. So in this video, I'm going to show you a streamlined process for filtering down those templates and finding the right one for you. So let's jump in here and I'll show you how to do that. Alrighty, so we're here in Canva and if you don't have a Canva account, you can find a link in the description below for a 30 day free trial for the pro version. There is both a free and paid version when signing up for Canva. Um, both are fine, but Pro will give you more options for what we're doing today, which is using templates. So most of the time, whenever you create a new document, maybe you just create a design up here, put in the specs or type an ebook and create a file like this. From here, you do have the option to use templates in the left hand side, but you'll notice that you scroll through a huge amount of libraries and it just it may be more difficult for you to find the perfect thing that you're looking for. And granted, you can filter, but this only has a color filter option. So I'm gonna show you a better way to set up your project so you can start on the right foot. We're, we're gonna go back to the home page, and instead of creating design up here, we're gonna go to this search bar that is directly on the home page. And we are going to search for ebook. Now there's four options for you that pop up: ebook, ebooks, ebook template, and ebook cover. We want to make sure we do the ebooks option with an S. And this is very important because it will give us an extra category on the left hand side for for filters. So choose the one with an S and we will move to this library of filters for you to choose from. So whenever you're creating ebooks, sometimes the templates will just have covers like let's see if I can find one real quick like this one right here is only the cover. So if I were to click on it and create a project with it, it would only give me the template for the cover page and I would still be responsible for creating the interior myself, which is not what we're looking for. We want a template that will give us the best basis for creating your content. So what we're gonna look for is whenever you hover over it, um, a little one of however many pages there are, this will indicate that there's multiple pages within template. And again, if you see this little crown, it is for the pro feature only, but there are some for the free as well. So if you have the free version, don't worry. Like this one right here, you can use for free. Now, if you'll notice up here, there's 2,500 templates. And so scrolling through these is gonna take all day if you're trying to find something very specific. So this is where the filters on the left-hand side come in handy and where we can kind of hone it in for exactly what we're looking for. So first of all, we wanna get rid of all the just straight up covers, so, or most of them. So this category right here, um, this is the thing that's added when you do ebooks with an S. Um, if you just do ebook, it's not there. So within the filters, feel free to scroll through. There's a whole bunch of them, but I found that the document tab is the best one to select because the document will most likely have multiple pages. And feel free to look through these, but if you wanna take it a step further, you can kind of go for the style you're looking for. So if you're looking for something clean and professional or fun, whatever your demographic is, choose a style based on what you're looking for, as well as a theme. So now in order to get the most out of these templates, we wanna make sure we find one with a whole bunch of pages because one with like four or five pages is not really gonna set you up with the amount of content if you're having a high volume ebook or something that is worth people downloading. So up here we can see that it's narrowed down to 177 templates, which is a lot more manageable. And we can go through here and see which one is the best for us. So this one right here is one of 11. Let me click on it and see how that looks. Now we can see this one has a cover page included. It has an about the author, which is always good. It's got a table of contents, which is always good, and a chapter section. So this one gives you the freedom to create multiple chapters. You can duplicate this chapter section over and over, as well as create a table of contents and kind of an introduction. So those are kind of the, the meat and potatoes that you're looking for within an ebook. It's very crucial that you have one with this sort of content for you, because if I chose one of these other ones, let me just find a simple one over here. Like this one, this one right here has a few things that you could work with, but certainly not the amount to give you the freedom to create the exact content that you're looking for. So it's got a title, an introduction, a questionnaire guide, which may not be applicable, and then a call to action. So no table of contents, no chapters. So the more time you spend looking for the proper template, the better your ebook will come out. So to do this step up front, it, it will save you a lot of time in the long run. And it'll make it easier to make page after page of content. So I would recommend using this method to create your eBooks. It's just a more efficient way to get a streamlined process and a good template for your content. And then after you create your eBook, if you want to know more about selling those eBooks, I've got other videos. I'll link them in the description below and maybe right here on the screen if they pop up. But that's it for this video. I appreciate you for watching and I will see you in the next one.